Hello guys, I'm currently making a tea, which is why there's a loud noise. Um, the kettle's right below the camera. I don't know if you can actually see me properly in the camera because it feels like it's quite high. I'll stand on my tippy toes. <laughs> um, so, I would have gone to the gym today and done leg day were it not for my injury. So I'm not going to go to the gym at all today, I decided. Um, but I'm taking a very proactive sort of stance on my injury now, on my patellar tendonitis, and I'm going to have decided I'm going to ice it twice a day in the morning and at night, and I'm going to do four sets of ten leg raises. Um, obviously, I'll do it both legs just so I don't get an imbalance in strength. But yeah, kettle's done. Oh no, it's going to fog up the lens. <laughs> Maybe. So yeah, I don't want to get an imbalance in strength, but I'm determined to have it fixed very, very soon. I'm drinking ginger and apple tea right now. I ran out of this stuff so I went and got more. And it was a two for four dollars special so I got ginger and apple and orange and cinnamon. I'm obsessed with tea. Um, so anyway, bouncing back pretty well after having eaten 2,000 calories yesterday. Oh, whoops, I was about to close, <laughs> close it on. I feel like this one's a better height. Just slightly, so I'm changing it to here. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good despite having ate 2,000 calories. That's probably because 2,000 calories is a relatively normal amount of food for someone like me. I think my total daily energy expenditure would probably be over 2,000, so it still was a win in my books. Anyway, so yeah, I am um, pretty excited to get this injury fixed. I feel more motivated than I have ever. I was doing a lot of running around today, I'm not running around, but emailing back and forth with people about the three bedroom apartment that Emily and I are bidding on on Sunday. So that's all done, we're pretty much ready to bid on Sunday. Um, here's hoping we get it. If we don't, it won't be the end of the world once again, it'll just be more searching. Um, this is probably one of the only three bedroom ones we'll look at because they're just so much more, or not so much more expensive, they're a lot more expensive and we would definitely survive in a spacious two bedroom apartment. Um, anyway, this YouTube stuff. I'm not, this channel has never been what I've wanted it to be. And at this point, it's never going to be what I want it to be. I'm living with too much fear in my life and I'm not just making the sort of videos that I want to make. So within the next six months, by the end of the year, definitely, maybe, definitely maybe, by the end of the summer, I'm going to be creating a new YouTube channel um, that is more relevant to my life and to how I've always wanted to do YouTube but I've never had the confidence to. I've always started YouTube channels and then shut them down because I was worried about people from my real life finding out that I do YouTube and all that sort of stuff. It's held me back for years. I've known about YouTube since like 2007, so 2006. So. That changes, I'm gonna stop living with fear, I'm gonna keep making these gains that I am with my life and moving forward and growing more confident. And um, yeah, within six months, I'm gonna create my ultimate YouTube channel. The YouTube channel that I've always envisioned in my head, that's gonna be created within six months. So I'm pretty hyped on that. Um, it's a good goal to have. Yeah, I finished reading Brand Over Binge the other night. I think I might've mentioned that. Um, I'm cured. Definitely yesterday, just cements in my mind that I'm definitely cured. Um, and then I'm now reading The Modern Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding by Arnold Schwarzenegger um, and it's really good so far. Other than that, I've been watching a lot of fitness YouTubers and stuff like that, getting motivated. Today's officially my last day off pretty much, well Saturday technically is, but I picked up a shift tomorrow. So um, I'm going to be earning that money. I went and looked at motorcycle gear today. Oh yeah! The shop I went to didn't have much women's stuff. But it was still really cool. They had some secondhand bikes. Um, hold on a second. Our sink is broken and I rigged up this little thing where the water can drip into this little Tupperware container because we haven't got it fixed and um, it was leaking but now I could hear it leaking, it was pissing me off. So yeah, they had a lot of second hand bikes and stuff like that so getting super excited for that. I'm in two minds though because I could afford some really great camera gear with what I'm going to spend on getting my motorcycle license or I could get motorcycle and motorcycle license. I'm almost tempted to go with the camera gear because I could buy like a Canon 6D Mark II with a flip screen, full frame camera, pretty sure it has 4K video, 
I could buy myself a nice microphone to film stuff on, I could buy myself an awesome tripod, and I could probably buy myself a drone as well with the money that I'm going to spend, or oh, and a good lens, with the money that I'm going to spend on a motorbike. We'll see. I'll choose one. Um, but it's definitely going to be choosing one and not getting both. Especially because we're going to be buying a house really soon, hopefully this Sunday, but if it's not, um, we'll get there eventually. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to have my first meal of the day. It's 2.30. I haven't been hungry all day, probably because I did eat more yesterday. Now I'm hungry. I have some eggs. That's all I have to say for now. I'm feeling amazing. It's burrito time. Pork meat. Okay, I'll just find No, this much. Oh, thank you. I've washed my hands, by the way. I'm still here. There's three yuck. Well, me. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the hospital. This is my sizzle. I need to take this over this hand. The other hand's all pulpy. <laughs> here we go. Now. I asked Emily if, she, Emily if she could chop some tomatoes and she was looking for them and I'd already started chopping them. <laughs> As you can see, it's coming along nicely. Now we're going to add this whole thing. It's going to make it taste very Mexican-y. I'll buy just the cheap cold stuff. It actually is not that bad. And I'm going to add some water as well. So as you can see, this whole thing goes in here. Boom. Seasoning it all. It's going to be so Mexican. -y. Probably don't even need the whole thing, actually. It'll be good. Yeah. Oh, look at me getting it everywhere. I'm a pro chef. All right. Now, I'm going to quickly grab some water to add back in a bit of moisture. You can stir it. Could actually probably add a bit more, huh? Yeah. Go get some more water. More water. Oh, look at that. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to prepare the tortillas and get the cheese ready. And I'll show you the final product because they're looking damn good. Okay, so here's the finished product. I've created the biggest mess ever. But this is what they look like. Next time, we're going to have lettuce. And I reckon next time, we should just get bigger tortillas and have two instead of four. Um, but yeah, look at this mess. Everywhere. I'll come back and clean it up after I enjoy this beautiful food. I reckon I'll add onion next time as well. Just for a bit of extra flavour. But good job me. Um, for this, it's about 700 calories. So it's pretty damn good. I'm happy with that. I love pork. I cannot wait to devour this. Okay, so if or when I get another car, depending on if I get a motorcycle, I'm going to get one that has the, the car light up the front so that I can film just when I'm sitting normally in my seat because I'm twisted on the side right now so I can have this lighting. Um, so I'm at Monash University trying to use their internet. Um, so I've just connected to the free internet and it's fucking horrendous. Um, that's the speeds. How shit is that? So I'm going to try and log into the uni internet because Emily is a uni student on the Hush Hush. Um, so I think it's, it'll be pretty quick if I log into theirs. So here we go. I'm going to try. Hopefully it works well. I think I remember that password. Please work, please work. I don't think it worked. Shit. I just entered the name. Alright, hold on. I'll be back in a second if it works. If not, then I'll let you know either way. Desperate times. I decided to just drive to Emily's uni to get connected. Um, <laughs> desperate times. So the reason I'm doing this is YouTube's new upload system where they show all your videos that have been uploaded. It fucking, it's really annoying because I'll upload a whole bunch of videos at one time because I'm never on top of things and just upload as each day happens. So I'll have like five, six, seven vlogs to up to like make public and they're all sitting there in draft mode and I'll accidentally skip a vlog 
and upload the next couple, I mean, sorry, release the next couple while missing another one. So I have to go back to the beginning and delete all the other ones because I want them all in chronological order. They've been in chronological order since I started vlogging six years ago and they're going to continue being in chronological order until I stop. It's just one thing that I can't tolerate. So my internet at home is fucking horrendous, probably like less than one megabit a second up. And I'm pretty sure the, the Wi-Fi here at the uni is 40 megabits a second up or something similar. So my videos literally upload in about two minutes versus an hour, an hour and 10, an hour and 15 minutes at home, depending on how long the video is. So that's why I'm here. Um, let's see if it works through the car. It probably will. Uh, I may need to go to the bathroom. And if I do, I'm probably just going to go into the library. But uh, here's hoping it works from the car because I'd rather sit here. <laughs> okay. It's about two minutes later now. Success! Look at this. Um, Speedtest.net. That's the downloads. Boom! 48.99. It'd be faster if I was actually in the library because I'm in the car. It's obviously not as fast. And like I said, the uploads are over 40. Which makes me a very happy person. Just hit over 50 just then. Um, oh, look at that! Look at that! 50! I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty damn happy with that. Um, so yeah, time to upload videos and they're literally going to take two seconds. I will actually do one right now just so I can show you how quick it is. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I've been, been filming a lot today. I don't know what's gotten into me. I just felt like filming dinner because why not? Um, so yeah, I filmed dinner and then yeah, filming tons. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it indeed. All right. Oops, where do I need to go? I know where all my stuff is that it help. This literally would have taken ages on my home internet. I'm probably really blurry because the the lighting's not that good. But look at this. Six, five, four. How many minutes? Three. Yeah. Look at that. The upload. Mine at home. I have to sit there and stare at it for like fucking ages before it even goes up by one percent. And it literally says two minutes remaining. I will be out of here before I know it. I don't even think I'll need to use the bathroom, so I'll literally sit in the car park, upload my vlogs, and go home. Pretty excited that this is all going to be done. Maybe I should just go to the library. I think I might. Screw it. Take it easy. Anyway, I'm going to shut up, because I'm filming so much. Okay, so I'm still in the car. I've decided I'm not going to go into the library. I'm done. It took me less than 10 minutes to upload them all. I'm going to finish the edit for today's video so that I can upload it while I'm here because it's quite a long video. So if I finish it now, I'll be able to upload it in like three minutes and it will be good. Um, anyway, so I was thinking yesterday, I was going to talk about this, but a lot of my camera gear and stuff is at my mum's old house and I haven't been able to get it because I didn't leave on the best terms with my brother and his girlfriend. So I really can't wait until Emily and I buy a house and we go to my old house with my mum and grab all my stuff so I have everything that's mine in the one house again. I'm really excited about that because I have like tripods and all that sort of stuff that I could be utilising to film these videos that are just at my old house so I can't grab them. But I think I'm going to buy myself a gorilla pod in the next week or so just to help make vlogging easier. Did I already say this when I was filming? When I was filming dinner tonight, I was just thinking to myself, it'd be so much easier if I had a fucking gorilla pod. And filming in the gym will be a lot easier if I have a gorilla pod as well. Obviously, now I know that they're okay with filming at this gym that I go to because Zach Perna and Steph Fit Mum went there. So clearly they're all right with it. So if I buy a gorilla pod, I can go and film there. That's all I have to say for now. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.